how to share podcast clips to Instagram stories. Hey everyone, my name is Alec and in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can repurpose your podcast content to create content for your social media platforms. So we're gonna be turning this into this. Okay, so let's get started. And the tool we're gonna to be using today is Veed.io, an online video editor, and the link is in the description to get started. Once I'm on Veed, I'm just gonna click on a new project. And then here I'm taken into Veed's editor and I'm just gonna click on upload a file and find my podcast video. So I've got this podcast right here of Saba, talking about growing Veed on the Indie London podcast. And the first thing is that I want to do is find the podcast clip that I would like to turn into a piece of social media content. So I'm just gonna scroll through and find the area I want. Now I've remembered, I've got a little clip I want, which Sabah talks about right here. So I'm gonna place my playhead, click split, and then find the end of the clip I want. So I'm just gonna place it roughly here, click split again. Now just delete either side of the podcast that I don't want. And now to make it easier for us when we're editing, we're just gonna click on fit right here, and then it's just gonna drag our timeline out. And then I'm just gonna drag my clip to the beginning so there's no blank black space at the beginning. If you see if I place my playhead here, if we start from zero and I press play, it's black, nothing happens. So I wanna make sure I drag my clip all the way back to zero, just like so. And then again, just click fit so we can actually edit it with precision. So now if I play through, you know, defining our DNA and also defining our brand. So this is something that I don't... Okay, now I'm just gonna quickly go through and refine and find the exact in and out points. Okay, so now I found the exact clip I want. And I just want to mention that instead of placing the playhead and clicking the split button, we can also just click on the edge of each clip and adjust it very slightly so we get exactly what we want. Dig really deep. And I do want to mention, because I'm sharing this to my Instagram story, we wanna make sure that it's less than 15 seconds. And I'm gonna end it right here at 14.9 seconds. Again, just click on fit so I can see it with precision. And here we go. So now I've got my clip and you might be saying, well, this is the 16 by nine aspect ratio and Instagram stories, the nine by 16 vertical aspect ratio. No worries here. I'm just going to go into the settings at the top and under size, we're gonna click on this drop down menu and I'm just gonna choose Instagram story, the nine by 16 aspect ratio. So as you can see, we now have a vertical video and I can move my video around anywhere I want on the canvas. And I can also resize it, scale it and crop it. And and we don't actually need the presentation at the top. So I might just drag this up so we can see Saba a little bit more. And so he's a bit bigger, just like so, just like this in the middle here. And then I don't like this at the top. It looks kind of ugly. So what I'm gonna do is just go into elements, click on add shapes, select a square, and I'm just gonna add it and overlay it over this. And then I'm just gonna change the color of this to black that way. Now it looks a lot cleaner. And now you'll notice that this looks clean and the blue has disappeared, but if I drag this from the beginning, it appears back again. So if we look in the timeline, as you can see, we've got a shape element here and it actually starts at uh, 4.5 seconds, but I want it to last the entire video. So all I have to do is just click and drag this out just like so. If I only want it to be here for the first one second, I can make it last for just the first one second, just like this. And another really good example is our YouTube. But I want it to be there for the entire video. So I just drag from start to finish. Now what I wanna do is add a headline and a title to this video. So when people are going through the stories, they see the headline and they're like, oh, I wanna I want see what this is about. So I click on text here in the left and just click on headline title. And I've got some text that appears. First thing I'm gonna do is make it white so it stands out on the black. Again, if we take a look in the timeline, because my playhead was towards the end here, that's where it was added, but I'm just gonna drag it to the beginning and then drag it out so it lasts for the entire duration of our Instagram story. And now here we can actually get to customizing our text. If we want more options, just click on more options and we've got quite a few details. First of all, I'm just gonna put a headline in and I'm gonna say Saba talks about YouTube, just like this, right? So what I might do is just drag this out, make it a little bit bigger. However, I think I might put a return here. That way it looks a little bit cleaner. And now place that there, drag this out. And I don't wanna put it right at the top because on Instagram stories, there will be the user's profile. I'm just gonna drag it down, put it in the middle, just right about here, I think that's pretty good. And now what I'm gonna do is add some subtitles. And the reason being is that a lot of people consume content and just watch videos with the sound off. Believe it or not, that's true. So I'm actually going to click on subtitles and click on auto subtitle, select my podcast clip, select the language that the podcast clip is in and click start. And now this is gonna take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the size of your video and your internet speed to automatically generate the audio from our podcast and turn that into subtitles. So we don't even have to type anything out manually. We don't have to adjust the timings. It will be there. So as you can see, this is now finished. And if I play it from the beginning, take a notice at the bottom right here where the subtitle is going to appear. And another really good example is our YouTube channel right now. It took us like six months to get to 1,000 subscribers. 
uh, and Alec was posting a video every day for six months. Now we add a new thousand subscribers every single month. So put the work in. Okay, this is perfect except for one thing. If we take a look at this subtitle right here, my name is spelt wrong. But I get this all the time, even people in real life are constantly calling me Alex, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna correct that by going into the subtitle editor on the left. Everything is correct and I think there was just one last thing here. So now we had a new and we're just gonna change this to now we add a new. And that is the subtitles. If there are any more mistakes, you can just fix them. If you wanna adjust the timings, you can click and drag just like so. And you can also see the timestamp in the bottom, which is pretty useful to know when to talk. So I could maybe drag this a little bit forward and out just a little bit, but I'm just being picky because I'm kind of a perfectionist. Now I want to change the style of my subtitles. And the cool thing is, is if I click on style and I adjust the style of my subtitles, we have some presets at the bottom. Let's say I choose the yellow style like so. The style is then adopted by all the other subtitles. Really good example is our YouTube channel right now. Which is amazing, I don't have to change anything. And then I might move these just up a little bit, just like so, and maybe drag it out so they're a little bit bigger and let's see what this looks like. Really good example is our YouTube channel right now. It took us like six months to get to 1,000 subscribers. And so this is our Instagram story. And now if I want to, I can just go and click on export and export my Instagram story, download it to my phone and upload it. But there's also a lot more things I can do here. For example, I can just even draw my video. Let me just select this and click on white, just like this. And then maybe change the size of my brush, make it very small. I can actually draw on my video. So just like this, do a quick arrow. And I can even just type on like swipe up. And then that's a swipe up. If you can add the swipe up link to your podcast to watch the full podcast. And then I can leave it from the 11th second of the podcast. So it's not there for the entire thing. So if people watch the entire Instagram story, at the end, they then get the call to action to swipe up to watch the full podcast. So then I just go and click on export. And then I want to burn the subtitles into my video. This means that the subtitles become part of the MP4 file. So I just click on export down here and then Veed goes ahead and renders my Instagram story. And again, this can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of my video and the speed of my internet. And so now I've done that, as you can see, I've got my Instagram story. And another really good example is our YouTube channel right now. It took us like, this is perfect. And now what I can do is if I go to my Veed account on my phone, I can just open up this project and hit the download button. But just to show you that you can also download it on the computer, I click download and then download MP4. And my clip is now downloaded in the 19 by 16 aspect ratio. Let me just adjust this. There you go. Here is our Instagram story downloaded to my computer. And that is how to share podcast clips to Instagram stories. Thanks for watching.